first year that I wrestled was uh, when I was in first grade, so I would have been about seven years old. I felt like my best wrestling was ahead of me, and, I, and at that point, probably the beginning of my senior year of college, I decided that you know, I wanted to consider being a college wrestling coach someday. The plan was to, to compete until I couldn't compete anymore, and then to coach wrestling until I can't coach wrestling anymore. Kevin, he's energetic, he's fun to be around, and he's easy to talk to, get along with. He's very welcoming, um, super nice guy. And I mean, I wrestled with him a little bit, and he scraps hard. I think people probably know me as the guy that loves to go down to the wrestling room and wrestle. Instead of getting a warm up in by running circles around the mat, um, I'd rather just grab a guy and start sparring and uh, get going with practice. I think what it really makes you do is, is you, you really place a high value on the time that you do get to spend outside of wrestling. I mean, I love wrestling, I love everything that it's given me. It, it continues to put a roof over my head and food on my table. Uh, but at the same time, there are other things in life that are important as well. Um, I guess I'm the married guy. I announce you, husband and wife, you may kiss the bride. So we met in 2010. We were working at J.A. Rob intensive wrestling camp. He was a, a counselor. He kind of coached the kids. I, don't, I haven't come across a lot of people who supported um, their kids as much as Kevin's family. They go to all of his competitions. They've always been there supporting Kevin for his dreams. It's been really, really cool to watch them kind of come out and kind of see him um, develop as a wrestler as well. I've got a lot of pride in where I come from. I was, I was born and raised in eastern Colorado, so I come from a very rural background. I've got a lot of pride in uh, where I went to college at Bucknell University. I've got a lot of pride in, in what we have going on here at the University of Minnesota. I have pride in my family and my country, and uh, I guess that kind of all bottles up sometimes when you're out there on the wrestling mat, and uh, sometimes you have to puff your chest out and, and tell somebody who's boss.